everybody? Welcome back. We're cooking with Chef Puff. We bring you the good stuff. All right, check this out. Today, we're going to be making um, two cod two different ways. We're going to try the Blackstone way, and we're going to top try a batter and fried. So, uh, I have the cod here that's been washed and cleaned. All right. It's been in the refrigerator for a minute. All right. So... I'm only going to do, be doing two pieces right now, so we're going to make a determination which one is better. Better to cook it, you know, cod in, fry or blackstone. All right, so, but I am using simple, 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 uh, pick this up from Walmart. It's Himalayan pink salt with black pepper and garlic. That's it. All right, it has all the seasonings that I do need. But I did cut this one up here, and I'm glad I did cut it up. All right. And I'm going to have, get very careful. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to season um, generously on both these sides here. Oh, yeah. All right, so what I'm going also to do, I'm gonna put these back in the refrigerator and let them marinate. Let the seasons all soak in to the fish for about at least an hour. Overnight is better, but uh, my family's gonna to wanna to eat tonight. So I gotta feed them. So. I think I'm gonna cut these in half so I can manage them a little bit more better all right so let me get a knife here there we go now that we got them cut in half take this one this one all right and then we have this one and this one now let me take the I ain't gonna lose none of my seasoning here. It ain't no overkill. All right. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and season these two right here also too. And um, when I'm done with this, we're gonna move on to the next thing, the batter. Okay, everybody. Uh, right now, we're gonna uh, start the batter now for the for the cod uh, for for frying. All right. I have in here, I have one cup of flour and one cup of cornmeal, all right? I, I am going to use simple water. I'm trying to make this recipe as simple as possible, quick and easy, all right? But I did season the cornmeal and the flour with the same thing that I seasoned the cod with, Himalayan pink salt with black pepper and garlic, all right? This is phenomenal. This just, it tastes really good. All right, so what I'm going to do, very simple, I'm just going to make a batter. All right, that's all, I'm, that's all I want to do, is to make a batter. All right, get that out the way. Now, why I had it in a plastic bag, because I like to mix it up really good, and it's all, all the ingredients, all the spices are mixed up, incorporated into this mixture here. All right, so I'm going to add, start adding a little water at a time until I get the consistency that I do want. All right, I'm a proud. All right. All right, I know people use um, carbonated soda or, or beer. All right, I'm not doing that. Like I said, it's what I have on hand. Just going to keep adding the water to it. That was basically three cups of water, three and a half cups of water. And just keep mixing it. It will come. Yeah, it will. That's going to be mix it and um, it gets too, how can I say, soupy. Just add more flour cornmeal to it. 
to thicken it back up a little bit. You know, trying to get the what's in the spatula itself kind of come out. Right. Get a light mix, yeah. And I will keep doing this until I get what where I want it to be. Right. Well, keep mixing, keep mixing, keep mixing. Oh yeah. Keep mixing. Okay, now that I have mixed it, it looks like I'm going to need a little bit more flour or cornmeal. It doesn't make a difference which one you put in. But I'm going to keep mixing. We'll see. Yep, it's too thin. It's too thin. So I'm going to have to thicken it up. So once I thicken it up, I shall return. Everybody. okay I got the uh, skillet up to um, between 325 and 350 uh, for frying basically I want to test it oh yeah so I think I want to turn it down to low right now okay so here goes the first piece of cod going into the batter all right make sure she's completely coated let some of the excess drip off sticking very lovely to the cod very lovely just let it drip a little bit when you feel comfortable without making a mess well you just pick it up and just do this no you're gonna break that Goes the next piece and the last little piece here. I think I already made a mess already. And remember, this is also see the batter, the the um, the flour, and the um, the cornmeal was seasoned with the pink Himalayan Himalayan pink and some sea salt. Okay, with the uh, black pepper and garlic. There you go. Let me get something to wipe this up. Okay. Move it out of the way. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Gonna continue to cook these until they're golden brown. So the the next piece of cod, I'm going to um do it on the black stone. All right, no batter, no nothing, just put the seasoning alone. All right. Gonna turn. Oh yeah, this is very delicious. All right, so when we are just about done, I shall return. Okay, everybody. Uh, just to let you know, I like the color. The fish doesn't take long to cook, and they, they look really good. All right, so I have a rack here with a piece of. Uh, parchment paper underneath the wax paper excuse me and I'm gonna set these fillets up here oh they look beautiful to cool down and drain off the excess oil all right they look fantastic all right there we go and the last one 
Let me give you a closer look at them, how they came out. Very nice. All right, that's just, like I said, very simple batter. You know, you, you can, the season, you can use salt and pepper, garlic powder, whatever you like. All right, but uh, well, we're going to see how they taste when they cool down. So I shall return. Welcome back, everybody. All right, now I'm, I'm on my Blackstone griddle, and uh, we're going to try to do these codfish just seasoned on the Blackstone. So let me start with, let me get a nice coat of some EVO olive oil. All right, there we go. Put it to the side. Now, I have my, there we go. There we go. Now what I wanna do, I wanna spray this surface with olive oil also too. All right. All right, once again, I do love cooking on my Blackstone because uh, basically you can cook damn near anything on the Blackstone. I mean, without using any pots, you can actually, with this 36 inch surface, you can cook all your meals. Get out of the kitchen, come outside to your outdoor kitchen because this is what it becomes. All right, so I'm gonna let these cook for a little bit. It doesn't take long for fish to cook, but you do want to keep them uh, oiled. All right. And um, when it's ready for me to flip, I'll be right back.